You know, we have a sister here that, that's actually on the continent. She's not here in America. And she's reaching out to black Americans just to let them know that, you know, you do have options. You don't have to sit up here and put up with these people all your life. You can return to, you know, the motherland if you so choose to. But let's go ahead and roll that clip. Dear black Americans, you are taught that Africans, we are savages. We are not. We are cultured. We are educated. We are knowledgeable. Unfortunately, we are poor on the surface. But beneath us, we have everything the whole world needs. They tell you this to try to stop you from coming back to motherland because you are the very, very backbone that builds the economy. If you were to relocate back to Africa, you would disable them as a continent. Africa is the only place you would never be racially discriminated against. Africa is the only place where you would never have to fear if you would die the next day or not. Black Americans, you are us. We care about you. We need you as much as you need us. Your color tells you who you are and where you belong. Stop forcing yourself to fit in places you'll never fit. What made me want to make this video is really the last part of what she said about paraphrasing, you know, being places that you're not wanted. Your color tells you who you are and where you belong. Stop forcing yourself to fit in places you'll never fit. In America, every single day, we are seeing more and more how this system doesn't want black Americans here. They're importing people into this country who isn't citizens at all, and they're putting them in the black neighborhoods. And a lot of black Americans say, okay, what is this about? Why are they doing all that? Why are they trying to push us out of our own communities? You look at what's happening in Chicago right now. People are pissed off because of what they're trying to do. Now, my personal experience, of course, in African countries that I've been to, no, I've never been discriminated against for no skin color, no. No, I didn't have any issues with the police. I didn't feel the, the energy that I normally would feel here in America. Now, let's you know, be realistic, the police in African countries, they can get turned up, they can, but I'm not trying to have no interactions with them where they feel like they need to do that with me, right? But for me, you know, I've always said this before, I have more peace when I'm on the African continent. I'm telling you, just being away from the white supremacist, even if for a short time, gives you a peace that really I need. I gotta have that peace. You know, if I can just be out of here every three months, if I can take off every three months for a week, I'm good. Being away from the white supremacist, it is peace. It really is. And when you don't know that feeling of peace, you know, sometimes you can get upset about it and get feel like, oh, well, why y'all call is talking about that? But what the sister said is, it's true. You know, that's why I say, you know what? Okay, I need to figure out what I need to do. That way, I, when the day and time come, then I can do that because I just enjoy that. I enjoy watching the ocean and I enjoy the good food and being around people that look like me and don't have to worry about all the issues and problems that we have in America them important people weaponized against the black man and woman of America. Cause that's all they doing is important people all over the place. that have hostilities toward the black man and woman. It gets old. It gets old real fast. And sometimes you just need a break from some of that. So yes, this sister is definitely spot on that black people can get some risks in the African continent. Of course, choose the place, you know, wisely. Um, don't ever just, up front, just uproot yourself, like go visit case in point. We have the Ghana trip coming up in October. You know, get, you know, we got a few spots left for that. So make sure you sign up, pay your deposit for that because that's a rest and relaxation you can have away from the white supremacists. Cecil Global and African Diaspora News Channel presents the Ghana Luxury Property Tour. It will be a eight day tour coming to you starting October 1 through October 8, 2023. Now you enjoy a five-star stay at a hotel, the finest properties in Ghana. You connect with industry professionals. You will also visit cultural landmarks, have a meet and greet with the team and so much more. Make sure that you go to the description box below and hit that link to sign up. And you need that for your mental health sake. You really do, you realize removing yourself away from the white supremacists, even for a time, how good that is for you in your mental health. And one thing is black people, we don't take care of our mental health as we should. 
And that sh it's evident in the way we do things. It's evident how much we abuse alcohol. It's evident, you know, how we abuse drugs. We do all kinds of destructive things to ourselves, just trying to self-medicate. Sometimes the best self-medication is getting away from the white supremacists into a, a area in and in a good area where you could have your people and then you'll be good. You can have some rest and relaxation and then you can come on back to Babylon and at least you have more energy to be charged until at least your energy run down, you know, some more, right? They tell you this to try stop you from coming back to motherland because you are the very, very backbone that built the economy. If you were to relocate back to Africa, you would disable them as a continent. Africa is the only place you would never be racially discriminated against. Africa is the only place where you would never have to fear if you would die the next day or not. A person like myself that's doing this content all the time, seeing the things that I see, yeah, I got, I got to <laughs> take vacation or try to have some sort of break every three months. It's just for my mental health sake. So I could be here and be optimal for you and optimal just for everybody else that's even depend on me. Right? So make sure you check out that, that link below with the Ghana trip. Like, so we got a few spots left and yeah, it's just a spot on. You need some peace and trust me, peace is everything.